What is going on, everybody? Well, I finally did it. I loaded up my bike and my vehicle and came out here to Black Bayou. So we are gonna ride down all the roads. We'll go in the education center where they have some alligators in there and we'll go to the pier and walk down it and look around. I got my cam I brought my camera. Well, before I start running my mouth, let's let me get the date. Today is September 28, 2023. It's 117 in the afternoon and it's 90 degrees and sunny. And I got a text message. That's a notification from my work. But, uh, yeah. I didn't have to go to work today. Today's a Thursday. Uh, so I figured, let me come on out here and we'll ride around. They got some, they got a, there's a few people live out here. They got some nice houses out here. That right there, I used to work at an engineering company and that's where my, the owner of that company lives. I had to go in there one time and we had to, he got a couple of us to go do some stuff for him at his house. And so we went in there, it's nice in there. So here's, here's, here's where it starts, where you come in. We'll look on either side of this bridge. But you come in here, that's the highway out there. And it's pretty busy. It's to the highway to this point where you turn, you turn onto this road right here from the highway. It's about, I'd say about 15 miles from my house. So I can't ride my bike over here. But it's nice out here. And like I said, I brought my camera. I'm not gonna get it out until I get to the pier. And you watch, I'll see all kinds of wildlife while I'm riding. But there's one side of it, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's wildlife there. There's an egret out there. <laughs> and then this is the other side of it. I told you, we'll see all kinds of wildlife riding a bike when I don't have my camera with me. And there's the other side. It's pretty out here. We'll probably even see some deer. Here comes another vehicle. You know, I don't know how many miles it is. All these roads. We'll go down this road, and then there's another road on down that forks to the left, and one that forks to the right. We'll go to, we'll go down both of those. But look how pretty that is. There's people that live back over there. Got that big old pond in front of their house. That's nice. But let's go down. Let's go down this road right here. I've seen I've seen deer driving down this road. I don't know if we'll see them or not, but there's a cemetery right there. St. Timothy Cemetery. You don't see any headstones. I don't know. They might be those on the ground. It's flush with the ground. But 
but I hadn't I haven't been up to a whole lot just been working that's about it working and playing VR the, uh, now I will say out here you know we got these roads we can drive on ride on and you know people drive their cars down here all the time there's a lot of people come out here just to take pictures and they'll get some of sometimes they'll get in their car and just ride the roads real slow and get good pictures but we'll get out there to the pier and that's real pretty we'll do that last oh and the other thing i don't know it depends on how long the video is i might i might break it up into parts if it's real long you know if it's an hour or more i might break it up into three 20 minute videos or something like that So we'll see because it'll probably it'll take us a little while to uh, to just ride all of these roads I'm gonna make sure I got enough battery in my bike because I'll probably be throttling most of the time And they have little trails. I don't know if you saw that when we just passed that, that go back into the woods that you can walk. They got a bunch of those. I may, I may come out here and do that again. Uh, do this again. And walk the trails, but I'll do that in the winter time. There's so many snakes out here. But we'll go. They got some little ponds back here. Sometimes you... Sometimes you can see, uh, sometimes there's birds out here. But yeah, see that goes on back that way. And I think there's another one right over there. You can't see it because it's all grown up. I'm not gonna ride my bike back there. I've already seen some, some butterflies. That's fun, taking pictures of butterflies. I've got several good pictures of butterflies uh, that I've gotten. They actually up there, up there where I parked, I don't know how it looks right now being towards the end of the summer, but they, they'll plant flowers out there and it's like a, a butterfly garden for the butterfly and the bees to come. And you can go out there, you can go in there and get some good pictures. We'll, we'll pedal the rest of the way down this road just to save a little bit of battery. But I tell you, if you want to see some really good pictures, from people that come out here we have a we have a Facebook group that you can join you don't have to you don't have to live over here to join it it's called friends of black bayou that's the Facebook group I've posted pictures in there that I've taken and people are posting pictures all the time in there of, of pictures they get out here Boy, I tell you, it's nice. It's, I mean, it's 90 degrees, but it doesn't feel too bad out here, especially riding. That wind feels good. And I want to, when we get to the pier, I'm on pull out my phone and take some video with my phone and some pictures maybe uh, so I can I can post to my, to our group me app 
our, our little mini putt-putt group. There's six of us in there. Was, I've been telling them a black, about Black Bayou so they can see what it looks like. And I think a couple of them have never seen an alligator. They live up north. So hopefully we'll get a picture of an alligator. That would be nice. Yeah, I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't post any videos uh, Monday, and today's Thursday. I won't be posting any videos today. I'll, I'd have to edit this one when I got home and get it posted, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'll wait till Monday to post it, the whole thing or part of it, depending on how long it is. Now, the, now this right here, I came out here one day and took pictures of my cousin, wanted me to do some pictures for him. And they wanted that driveway. A lot of people would get up there and take pictures in that driveway with those trees. Everybody likes that. Now these railroad tracks here, we've gotten, gotten some good pictures down the railroad tracks. You'll see deer down there every now and then. It takes some good pictures down that railroad track. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to turn my body the best I can. Getting old, not as flexible as I used to be. That's where we that's where I parked over there. That's where we came out of. Now we'll go over here to the to the education center. go in here and uh, see if it's open. I think the last time I rode out here on my bike, I was going to go in there and it was closed. And I think, I think it was cl closed because of COVID. So that must have been back in 2020. And I'll show you. The, yeah, that, <laughs> that flower garden's all grown up. It says it's open. I'll show you the garden over here. There's a little walking path right there you can walk down. But there's the garden. It's it's all grown up. I figured it would be. They usually have it, you know, they usually get it up at the beginning of summer. But yeah, there's a butterfly right there flying. But yes, you, I've actually gone in there and I'm, I've spent... 30 minutes to an hour in there getting good pictures. They'll plant flowers and stuff like that in there. Let's see. There's a bobcat. See nothing in there. Oh, there's a. Oh, look at that snake. He's got his head up underneath there. That is a. There he comes. There's his head. And there's a fish. I don't know how good this is going to come out on camera. There's some more fish. And I don't know if you can see the tables back there. They hold little things for the kids out back there. And there's alligators back there. Let me get a... Uh, 
what I want. Oh, my camera. There's a turtle. All right, that's about all this is. It's not anything big. No, he's looking right at us. Look at that. I hate to run across him out there. All right, so let's Let's continue on. tell you this this next road we're gonna go down the one that forks to the left there's an old cemetery back there and uh, I've tried to look it up online and I can't find much information about it but There's a, uh, that's the pier down there. Oh, and let me show you this right here. This thing gets photographed a lot out here. People take pictures of this a lot. That old car. I don't know what kind of car it is. I don't know if you can see it real good. There's a car and there's an old gas pump it looks like. Yeah. There's a bayou out there. I've gotten some good pictures out there, seen uh, Anhinga, that's what it's called. I've gotten some good pictures out there. And there's little open areas right here. I've, I've gotten good pictures of some deer down through there. Well, let's see, where is it? I guess I hadn't gotten to it yet, or I passed it one. We'll go down that, that road after we go down this one. This road here is pretty long, and it goes on back there. There's deer back over there a lot, too. mile an hour speed limit. Looks like we're going to be speeding. Sorry if you're hearing some weird sounds. I was I was just checking my microphone to make sure it was on. <laughs> I've done that before. I went and rode Caroli Park, made a video on it, and I got back and there was no sound. I forgot to turn my microphone on.
Buffering Cemetery. That's it right there. See, it's an old, it's an old cemetery. You can, I guess you can see the headstones there. But yeah, it's, it's old. Uh, like I said, I've looked for it online. Uh, oh, look at that. In memory of... What does that say? Looks like it says, In memory of Anaker Sims, age 112 years. Wow. Looks like these are these headstones are like in the 1800s. So it's a yeah, it's an old cemetery. And there's some there's some headstones right there. Now this one that headstone there's 1925, but they got some. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty neat. I wish I could find more stuff about it online, but I can't. I don't even know how many miles we've ridden so far. Four and a half miles. Well, that's not bad. Oh, here we go with the dust. We're going to have some dust. I tell you, you know, you know something funny is, uh, you know how I'll be sitting here riding and talking, and I'll say I'll say something that I guess resembles Senna, my my bike helmet, and it'll come on. And I know you, if you've been watching my videos, I know you've seen that. <laughs> you know what's funny is I'll be in class teaching, and I don't know what it hears, but all of a sudden. On my watch, Siri will come on. Well, I'll look that up for you. That's that that actually happened uh, two or three times to me yesterday. Today's Thursday, Wednesday. I was teaching. It happened to me Wednesday two or three times. Yeah, I figured I'd come out here today. Today was a good day to come out here. It's not the weekend. It's not going to be a lot of people out here. So. Yeah, I think some of the people that take pictures out here, they ride all the way down to the end of this road and get some, get some pretty good pictures of wildlife. I'm sure they have their spots that they go. I don't know where they go to take them, but you know where they go to get the pictures but it's somewhere back here they may have them a special spot or something
honestly, this road may end right down here. I don't know. I think I, I've, I've driven down here one time, and that was years and years ago. It was probably, I bet you it was right around 10 years ago. Yeah. So, this is the end of the road. People actually come out here and hunt. Some of them do. But I noticed over here, there's little trails you can walk down, back down through the woods. They may park right back there and then just kind of walk back here. And I guess it goes on back. Yeah, it looks like it goes on back. Yeah, it goes on back that way a ways and that way. And there's no no four wheelers back down through there. So I'm going to assume no bikes either. That wasn't too long of a road. I think it's the longest one you can ride down up here. Surprised we hadn't seen any any wildlife other than that egret down there at the beginning. Hopefully we'll see some when we get out to the pier. But I don't know. I don't know how good you'll be able to see anything. These GoPros, they're wide angle lenses, so I'm sure it's tough to see, to see something out there with the GoPro. I may, I may post some pictures that I take. If my pictures are any good, I might post them at the end of the video. Yeah, I tell you, you know, coming out here, I've driven around here in my car a lot, looking around, taking pictures, but I tell you, this is the way to go on your bike. This is the best way to ride it. I tell you what would be ideal if I, if I had some kind of clip I could put on me to hold my camera all I have is that strap if I put my camera if I took my camera with me I got a strap that goes around me but then I'd have to hold it with one hand because it'd just be dangling uh, I got one of those uh, oh I can't even remember the name of it it's a popular brand it's a real good strap I know before I got that strap, I'd come out here to take pictures and I'd have my camera and that big old lens on it. And I tell you, after, after 30 minutes to an hour, you, you felt it. Let me see this sign here, see how to spell that cemetery. It's Buffering Cemetery, B-U-F-F-E-R. I N Buffering Cemetery. <clears throat> but yeah, I tell you, you'd feel the strain on your neck from that camera. And it just, it'd wear you out doing all that walking. I mean, I'd come out here and walk five, ten miles with my camera taking pictures. But I tell you, that strap I got, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll tell you the name of it when I get my camera. I think it's on there. 
I can't believe I can't remember it. But, uh, man, you put that thing on, you don't even feel like you're carrying anything. You can't even feel it. Made a world of difference. I think the strap was like, that camera strap was like $80. But I tell you, it's worth it. If you enjoy taking pictures, But I tell you, it's a, that's really bothering me. I can't remember that name. on that curve on that gravel the tires will slip right out from underneath you another road this is the last road out here it's not a very long one I've seen plenty of deer here seen deer laying out in there seen deer laying out through there I mean it's nice to see them but when you're taking pictures it's hard to get a picture of them back in there because it's so dark the pictures tend to be kind of grainy got a lot of grain in the pictures Now you know this ride might not take as long as I thought it would. That's a nice little field to photograph when in the winter time when all that grass isn't so high. And it's real pretty when you see deer out there. a little observation deck back here you know I might see might just uh, let's just ride on back down here it's probably so overgrown out here on that observation deck I hate riding back through here I'm trying not to touch any of those try not to touch anything I'm bad allergic to poison ivy Yeah, it's real overgrown back here. Yeah, see, you can't even, you can't even see anything. It's, uh, it's so overgrown. Yeah, it's, it's nicer during the winter time. There are no leaves on the trees, and you can just, uh, you can see back through there further. Let's, let's head on back out. 